step over. Mwanga is a penalty, oh, it is! Wow. I will be shocked if VAR doesn't have a second look at this. Yunus Marakshi is checking this penalty decision. Welcome to Instant Replay for MLS Match Day 8. I'm your host, Andrew Wiebe, and as always, we're taking a closer look at the most controversial refereeing decisions in Major League Soccer. We start in downtown LA. El Trafico is here, and there's always something special in this game. In the 32nd minute, we got our talking point. Diddy Bawanga driving toward the end line. Mickey Yamane defending in the box. Yamane goes down. Bawanga goes down as well. And John Freeman, the referee, points to the spot penalty. Watching live? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But VAR, Yunus Marcacci, is watching every single angle, looking for a clear and obvious error. And Marcacci says, yes, I see one. To the monitor you go, Freeman. John Freeman goes to the monitor, watches the play, and sticks with the call on the field. Penalty. And I strongly disagree. Watch closely Denny Bawanga's right foot. Bawanga does the little toe tap and drag before Mickey Yamane is anywhere close to being able to touch him. Then Bawanga, as he's dragging that foot forward and watch the left foot pulling up the landing gear, throws his right foot out and into Yamane. For me, this is simulation. It's embellishment. Bawanga is looking for a penalty decision in a situation where he was not fouled. He initiated the contact and changed his gait. Had Yamane slid in and his knees caused the contact as Bowanga ran in what I would consider a straight line, a normal gait, this would be a penalty. But in my opinion, that's not what happened. I don't think this should have been a foul. To Columbus we go. Cucho Hernandez, the star of the crew, missed two straight games. Thanks to a team policy violation, according to Wilfred Nancy, back in the lineup for DC United, but then off the field with a straight red from referee Pierre-Luc Lozier. And I completely agree. This is violent conduct, folks. We saw it with James Sands, and this is a very similar play. Cucho, frustrated, goes to ground and drives both of his feet, both studs, up into the DC defender. It's excessive force when not challenging for the ball. It is an easy call. Red card. The GOAT is back, Lionel Messi, a second half sub for Miami against Colorado. Well, let's start in the first half, ninth minute, Kevin Cabral in behind and he's going down. Brrr, dog so right? That's what the Rapids fans were yelling and so was Cabral, but Ted Uncle, the referee said, uh-uh, get up, play on. And for a second, it looked like Uncle might have missed something, but no, watch this replay. Cabral is not touched. He goes down, looks back to the referee looking for the call, and in my opinion, this could have been simulation. Cabral is lucky not to see yellow on this play. No mentions of simulation, however, in the 44th minute. Kevin Cabral is clearly taken down by Ryan Saylor in the box. Watch Saylor catch Cabral's foot with his foot. Yes, that's a penalty. Well done, Ted Uncle. Now, I'm not going to accuse Carlos Heel of simulation on this one in the 89th minute of the Revs' win against Charlotte. There is contact from Adelson Melanda, but I agree with Sergey Boyko. This isn't a penalty for me. Watch closely. The moment the two players come together, yeah, right there. Pause it for me, producer Phil. Yeah, that looks like shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact for me more than anything else. I think it would be incredibly harsh to give a penalty on this play, and I like the decision to play on. I did not, however, like this decision from Mark Allerton in the Minnesota RSL game. 89th minute, Joseph Rosales is sitting on a yellow card. And down goes Emeka Anelli, and out comes the yellow card. On first watch, you might think, okay, it was a shove. He pushed him down. On second watch, you see very clearly that there is not much contact here from Rosales on Anelli. Anelli grabs him. Rosales gives just a little push. Hey, get off me, all right, bud? Down goes Anelli, looking straight to the referee for a decision, and the yellow card comes out. I would have liked to see no card in this situation. To City Field we go in Queens. New York City hosting Atlanta United, 39th minute. Santi Rodriguez in the penalty area of Atlanta United and Muyumba is defending, oh no. Anytime you have a grab, even a little one, and pull across the back of an attacker's body, one, they're gonna go down, and two, the referee, Rosendo Mendoza in this case, is almost certainly going to make the call. Penalty. When I watched it live, I thought, yeah, no doubt, go to the spot. Tim Ford, the VAR is watching too, of course. He checks. Then he sends Mendoza to the monitor. Clear and obvious error for Ford, no PK. Mendoza disagrees, sticks with his call on the field. My opinion? Oh boy, this is soft. I don't think there's much of a grab from Mayumba here, and Santi Rodriguez certainly makes the most of it. But there is a grab. So in my opinion, I don't think this one should have been sent down. 
Just because it's soft doesn't make it a clear and obvious error. Once you see the grab and the pull, to me, the decision on the field has to stand. Mendoza sticks with his, even though I think I would have been fine with no penalty in this situation. And I'm certainly fine with no penalty for Mendoza in the 63rd minute. This is a great call from the center. Brooks Lennon looks like he takes down Hannes Wolf in the box, but if you watch closely, Lennon does not make contact with the attacker, steps over, and stops the ball. This is just a brilliant tackle. Not so brilliant from Joel Waterman in the Seattle-Montreal game. 24th minute, Albert Rusnak takes a nice touch past the Montreal defender who sticks his foot out and kicks him. It's not hard, but it's there. Philip Dujic in the run of play says no penalty, and I understand why. The contact is not egregious, but Caroline Chenard the VAR spots it. Flags do it, and then he goes and changes his call, as is correct in my opinion. Well done to the referee crew on this one all around. Here's one for those of you who like to comment on YouTube. 59th minute of Austin San Jose, Diego Rubio fouled in the box, or at least it looks like it. Or does it? I'm not so sure that there's contact here, but I definitely don't think there's clear and obvious evidence for Kevin Terry Jr., the VAR, to reverse Lucas Spala's call on the field. So what do you think? Let us know, and we end with this one. Franco Escobar is a snuggly boy. Ninth minute, Escobar defending on a corner kick. I don't know, does Rafa Shijo smell good? He's wrapped all the way around him, face nuzzled in the chest, and just doesn't let go. This is always going to be a foul, and Shijo realizes, I just need to go down. What a bizarre play. And if you see something bizarre or controversial, as always, please hit me up and include the minute. It really does go a long way for both myself producer Phil, and producer Rich. And with that, that's Match Day 8 in the books. Thank you for everybody out there watching. We'll see you next time.